Hello. And yes, before you say anything, I've not had a haircut. Boris isn't allowing me to have a haircut. Welcome to this video where I will be doing a unboxing of the Classic Football Shirts mystery box, which um, came out quite a while ago, but I've been waiting for it to come. It has now arrived. But first of all, let's talk about the shirt I'm wearing today, which is the 1995-1997 home shirt for Derby County. As you can see, the beautiful ram is right there. Um, this is obviously my favourite home shirt, which is why I've got it on today. Um, and I thought it'd be quite fitting. You know, classic football shirts, classic football shirt. I'm a classic guy, do you know what I mean? So we're gonna be um, opening the, uh, the box and I'll be showing you what is inside. First of all, here is the wonderful box. Um, this cost me 39.99 online from the Classic Football Shirts um, website. Um, and I got a large, as you can see there, it says large on the box. Um, and yeah, I've got quite fat from lockdown, so I've been eating too many um, biscuits at McDonald's, so I will be, <laughs> I will be a large, so this is why I bought a large um, box. So inside the box, it is a shirt worth £29.99 or more. Um, there is one golden box, which is the Borussia Dortmund um, 1997 home shirt, which they got to the Champions League final in. Um, so that is hopefully what's inside this box, but we don't know because it is a mystery box, which is the aim of the game. But yeah, I'm really excited for this. Um, I've been waiting a long time to do this and I'm gonna show you what is inside. So let's get into it. So, let's, so there's a sticker on here actually. Better open that, right. This is the moment of truth. This is the moment of truth. Oh, okay. So before I actually get into the box, inside on the website, it said there is a classic magazine, a classic um, scarf. There is also a poster and a magazine from Classic Football Shirts. And then obviously you've got the shirt inside, which is the mystery. So it's a surprise what I'm gonna get. Um, but actually from open the box, you get a whiff of like, I don't know, like a granny smell. Can't really describe it, it's like a granny smell. Like when you go to your grandma's house, it fusty smell, it's I don't know, not fusty. It's really old smell, I think it's the shirt actually. And there's everything inside the box. Um, but yeah, um, let's, let's get into the box. So I have the box here. Um, I'll try and show you what is inside. Um, it's quite a colourful box. We like colours. It is, I don't know, it's more of a, a vibrant feel to the box, which is uh, what we want. So first of all, what I can see are these special player cards that you get with um, classic football shirt orders, which you um, you get collectibles, basically icons and legend cards are called, um, which are a really cool touch actually, because they are really, really cool cards. So we have people like Frank Lampard, obviously, Derby County legend, not a Chelsea legend, even though he's top goal scorer, but we won't talk about that. Um, Steven Gerrard, De Canio, Ian Wright, Kaka, um, Seydorf, Scolzi, Adriano, all that jazz, all of them are inside the box. So that is a good start. What else we've got? So, this is a weird one. Um, <laughs> David Seaman. Um, I think it's a fairly young David Seaman. He looks pre the pony. I think it's pre the ponytail. Um, let's have a look when it is. 1995 David Seaman. So it's pre the Euro 96 with his mustache and his short to hair. But anyway, that's quite a nice little surprise in there. I didn't know I was getting that. I think it's like a fusty, like old smell. When you go in like an, an attic, that sort of smell. Anyways, enough of the smells. I will open the shirt last, which is here. It's got nice um, question marks on it, you know, it's a mystery. We'll never know what it is. Um, but as we open the box, you get the Torino drawstring bag, which is quite nice. 
Um, not my not my colour, not a burgundy sort of guy. But it is a very nice drawstring bag, so thank you very much for that. And then we have the poster. It's quite easy actually. Um, what should be on here? Yeah, this is the 1998 World Cup home shirts poster. Um, wasn't a bad tournament for England, but could have been better. Michael Owen had an excellent tournament though. Everyone remembers the uh, Argentina game. Um, for the wrong reasons, of course. But we do remember that game very, very well. So put that back in the tube. And the scarf, which isn't a surprise because I've seen it now, but it is the Copenhagen scarf. So, so well, open that up. So it's a nice Copenhagen scarf. Um, oh, if you like your beers, a bit of Carlsberg on the back. Uh, not my favourite, but you know, it'll do. But it's a nice, nice colour, white, Derby, white, you know. Not the biggest fan of Copenhagen though. And then we have the classic football shirt, World Cup History Exhibition, which is also in Russian, I think. It's in Russian as well. So here it is. It's um, it's, well, it's really nice, uh, put, put together a book, it's laminated, it's nice pages. And that is also a nice touch to fill the box up. Um, and now, we have the magazine, which is from June 1975. It's quite a while ago, but Derby County were the best team in the country at that time. I think um, Dave Mackay was in charge at this time. The first page it says Derby County, and it, it does say Dave Mackay as well. So Derby were at the top of the game at this uh, time period. But um, whoa classic 70s hairstyle and the beard. Perfect combination of Keith Fear, Bristol City. Now we're moving on to the main event of the shirt. So let's get into that. Finally, we have the main event. It is the shirt itself. And so far it doesn't smell. So that's a positive for me and you, even though you can't smell it, it's, the box is disgusting, but still. Right, I'm not gonna own. I didn't see it, all I saw was this. Which is a lovely bit of packaging. Um, bit of tissue paper. Can't be a bit of tissue paper. Anyways, I will close my eyes. I'll show you guys first. I'll flip it around and I'll give you my reaction to the shirt, so. Okay. Okay, so. I'm trying to find the badge. Oh, is that, okay, that's the badge. So that's the front. Okay, that way around. So I'm gonna open my eyes in three, two, one. Okay, it's blue. Kappa, it's probably French, Italian, or Spanish, because it can't be English, because the shirt said, uh, the box said that there would be no English shirts in the box. So, three, two, one. Oh, Torino in Turin in Italia. That's my Italian. I don't speak any Italian, but ciao. Um, so Torino, okay. I love about the shirt straight away is the embroidered badge on the shirt. Um, I'm a massive fan of embroidered um, badges on shirts. Um, I'm not a fan of the stick-on ones anymore. The press-on ones are not very good. Don't really like them. I prefer an embroidered shirt. And uh, you know what? It's not a bad shirt. Um, can't be Kappa on the sleeves like that, or Umbro when you get the double diamonds on the shirt sleeve. You cannot beat it. So I'm in love with the Kappa on the sleeves. And it's a nice color. It's Torino colors. You've got the burgundy on there, the blue. Um, the sponsors are quite crazy. I don't know why I have two sponsors on your shirt, but they do in Italy, quite extravagant. Um, I'm a fan, I'm a fan of it. Um, it's very plain, but I do like it. It's simple and stylish, which is the type of guy I am. Even though I said I was a classical guy earlier on the video, who cares, I still like the shirt. Out of 10, I'm gonna give a solid seven. If that was, an, if that was a Preston badge, it would've been like a five. It's a bit plain, but apart from that, it's not bad. It's a beautiful cap shirt. And uh, 
yeah so let's just see how much this shirt actually is worth online and um, the shirt on the website said it will be over 29.99 um, so let's see if this is worth the money or not I bring news from the wonderful World Wide Web and this is the 2008-2009 Torino away shirt um, so it's not that old but it is fairly old. The shirt online isn't actually on the Castle Football Shirts website. Um, it is on eBay and um, on uh, other marketplaces such as Facebook Market for around £35, um, which is more than the £29.99 price tag set on the Castle Football Shirts website beforehand. So I have got my money's worth of shirt and if you add all of the stuff together, it does come up to around £39.99, which I paid for the box itself. Sadly, it wasn't the golden box, but it is a beautiful shirt and I'm very happy with it actually. So, classic football shirts, if you do want to, like, you know, have a collab and give me some shirts, I'm happy to. So, get in touch. Um, I'll be happy to take some shirts off you. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this episode of my shirt unboxing and I hopefully we'll be doing some more in the future. Thank you very much for watching. Ciao.